he indicated his poor performance in the last uh, elections won't be a barrier in achieving his dreams. Chrissy Parker Wilson has the rest of the story. So Nanaya Achampim Jandwa is duly elected as the general secretary. On behalf of the chairman, our chairperson of the electoral commission, I duly declare I for Cobra Green Seat as the presidential aspirant for on the ticket of CPP for the 2020 That's the election. Director of Electoral Services at the Electoral Commission, Dr. Srebokweko, declaring results of candidates who won at the National Congress, including Ivor Green Street, the 2020 flag bearer. Over 3,000 delegates of the Convention People's Party converge at designated centers across the country. Some party supporters who had gathered at the party's headquarters were upbeat about eight chances in the upcoming polls. <laughs> again. Ghana will work again. And this is a wake-up call to Ghanaians. The CPP is not dead. Vice Chairman John Ben Daniels admits the CPP is not in good shape but says the newly elected executives would fashion our strategies to restore the image of the CPP. Political flubberers uh, on their own may not do well. But you need a party to party organization to support the flubberer. So if the last time the party performed abysmally. This time round, the policies we are going to put in for the, for the, the next three months well, is going to governize us to perform well in the coming elections. This would be the second time Mr. Green Street is leading the party into a major election. He tells Joy News that he will continue to contest until the people of Ghana gives him the mandate to govern. We have been organizing quietly since 2017. 2017, 2018, 2019, we were doing deep, very serious reorganization of the grassroots at the polling station level, at the constituency level, and at the regional level. So all these things put together made me very confident that uh, with this election, um, uh, I would become the candidate. The only problem is obviously it, it delayed um, due to the corona um, uh, a crisis and also some internal um, uh, issues we had with court and some other delays which delayed us. And so therefore we had a, a lot of work to do uh, over the next uh, three months, it's not even four months, uh, we're almost at the end of August and we have September, October, November and this one week at the beginning of December. So uh, it's going to be hard work but uh, I believe that uh, his Excellency Nanado Dankwa Kufuado tried in 2008, failed, tried in 2012, failed, and it was in 2016 that he was able to succeed third time lucky. And I believe that Professor John Evans Atan Mills, mm. may he rest in peace, also um, tried a number of occasions. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so, yes, yeah, yeah, well, so I, I don't think. Uh, Ghanaians are ready to just accept you on, on the first go. They want to listen to you, they want to hear you, they want to follow you, they want to understand you, and they want to develop a degree of confidence in you. So uh, uh, once again, uh, I'm going to offer myself and my party, uh, in whose policies and programs I believe, uh, to the people of Ghana to try and choose a new direction. Uh, a different direction that uh, they have been facing for the last 27 years or so of the National Democratic Congress and the New Patriotic Party. It's say, you say, I mean, they're surprised you summoned the kind to even lead the party in 2020. Well, so, I, and, I, and I, I, I remember critics having the same comments to make against uh, Atta Mills and uh, Akufuado, that why are they trying again, even though they are in larger parties and made greater impacts. They were also asked, but why come again? And, and they were challenged. I think Akufuado was challenged heavily by competitors in his own party, who obviously felt he did not have the qualities to lead the party or lead the nation. Professor Atta Mills was challenged by even the wife of the founder of the party. So clearly, it is politics. It is a competition. And therefore, there are many others who feel they have the qualities to lead the party and lead the nation. And uh, it is the same in the Convention People's Party.
now to the All People's Congress, the APC, uh, which is holding its second National Delegates Congress to elect national executives and presidential candidates to lead them uh, into the December polls. The founder and leader of the party, Hassan Ayaraga, is expected to be acclaimed as flag bearer of the APC. And we will bring you all the details in our subsequent programs. But that's how we wrap it for 